Hey y'all, it's Renee from 9B Panhandle, Florida. Welcome back to my channel. So excited today. Today I get to plant something, not just do some maintenance chores. So what am I gonna be planting? I'm gonna be planting lily bulbs. And these are just grocery store bulbs that I uh, saw last time I went grocery shopping because I always gotta look around, you know, see if something strikes my fancy. And even though I don't see a lot of stargazers in my area, um, she's a mad gardener, uh, says, and she lives like in, I think more central Texas. I'm not quite sure, but she grows them and they do great for her and they're perennials. I also picked up some red ones. Now, normally the lilies that I see, not super crazy about the colors, but I do like solid colors and the stargazers have a, have a really strong scent, I'm kind of allergic a little bit to it, but I'm hoping it will be wonderful in my garden. So I can't wait to show y'all and get to work on that. All right, let's see what we got cooking here. We got some stargazer lilies. Oh, I am so excited to give these a try. I've grown a lot of daylilies in my yard, but I'm not really fond of their color scheme. And they're a bit weedy, meaning that they grow quite invasively. Um, but I'm optimistic these might stay more contained. So it says here you'll need to plant them four inches to six inches deep and four to six inches apart from one another. And it says here that my grow zone should be now. January to February and uh, they do grow um, I think around two feet tall or so uh, and uh, yeah I'm really excited to give these a try um, there's four in a um, package and they're six bucks and they're a perennial when I'm pretty sure these will come back here just because my day lilies do great here all right, so there is another lily that I picked up besides the stargazer. And they are, um, if I haven't said this, there were four for six bucks. So we're gonna look at this other one. Yeah, this is a really pretty red one here. And uh, let's take a look. So these are commander in chiefs and they are a solid color. Um, I thought they might look nice with the stargazers that I picked up. Again, there's four bulbs for about six bucks and has all the identical instructions and directions on the back of it too. So just the same. All right, let's go ahead and see how these bulbs look. I think we're gonna do looking at the stargazer first. Packed in some peat moss and uh, yeah, nice has some root the bulb looks pretty much nice and firm and intact um, I did notice that when I smelled the bag it had a faint odor of lilies which was kind of interesting um, but let's take a look at the other three yeah more of the same looks really good roots nice tight bulb that one had a, a single lobe that was a little loose but it's still holding on Now we'll look at the others. Yep, great again. Has a slight rosiness to the bulb, which is kind of interesting for the stargazers. And after taking out the next batch of stargazers, they were all identical. So very pleased. All right, now time to take a look at these commander in chiefs. Wow, this one's even got some sprouts on it. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna be good, for sure. Let's take a look a little more closely. Will I be able to tell them apart when I go to do the stargazer bulbs? And the answer is yes. These are actually whiter and maybe a touch smaller. So I think I'm gonna be A-okay knowing which is which as I'm planting them if I put them all in the same bucket when I go to plant. All right. Let's just take a look real quick at that last bag because I picked up two of each. So basically 20 bucks and I got 16 bulbs. Yeah. 
great. Looks wonderful. Yeah. No extra bulbs, though. No bonus content there. Sorry. So what I'm going to go ahead and do next is get my bucket and I'm going to put some water in it and we're going to soak these bulbs. Probably a completely unnecessary step, but I figure why not? These guys have been sitting in a bag for a while. They probably need a little bit of rehydrating and I'm only going to be leaving them in here for probably about uh, maybe 30 minutes or an hour. All right, so this is the area I'm thinking about planting. In particular, I was originally thinking I could put these along the border, but the longer I look at this area, I'm thinking I'm gonna wrap them around this uh, mulberry tree that I have. So here I'm just going to take my shovel and I'm going to kind of just dig the soil around this tree about four, maybe six inches deep and really kind of till it. And I'm going to be adding some uh, fresh made soil to it as well uh, to help amend it. And uh, maybe I can dig out some of these grassy weeds while I'm doing it. And that way I can kill two birds with one stone.
so excited. Let me show you what it, what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we planted all those bulbs in here. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to see what those look like when they come up. I hope you're joining me on that journey and maybe in the spring or summer, they'll be popping up and you can see them too. All right, y'all. I hope you're able to go out into your world and make something beautiful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. A little bittersweet here. This is my last preview rose before I get my pre-orders and maybe I save the best for last. It is Elizabeth, named after the queen herself. And she is a large shrub rose, repeat bloomer, four and a half foot by four and a half foot. And oh my goodness, that color, the blush. Mm. And she's supposed to smell like old sweet tea roses and lemon sherbet. You heard it, my friends, lemon sherbet. Love it. Can't wait to get it and put it in the ground in my garden.